Welcome to Story Time with Sonia Panda. Today I am going to read Curious George Discovers Charms. Adaptation by Erika Zappi. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. But sometimes even good little monkeys find themselves not feeling so well. How did George know he was sick? The story starts with spaghetti sauce. George's favorite day of the week was sauce day at Chef Piscetti restaurant. He always gave Chef Piscetti some tips to make the best sauce. But today, instead of being able to taste the chef new malto jalto sauce george could not taste anything did you know when you say you cannot taste something because you have a cold it is really because you cannot smell it your sense of smell is responsible for most of what you taste so when your nose is stuffed up it is hard to smell or taste much of anything chef piscetti sent george home and the man with the yellow hat sent george to bed then he took george's temperature fever stuffy nose clammy paws said the man you are definitely fighting a germ george do you know what a germ is George was curious. The man got out a book. There was a picture of a funny looking blob. This is a bad germ, George. There are good germs and bad germs. A bad germ is making you sick, the man explained. Germs are very small. They can be found anywhere in your body. your nose your mouth your stomach your lungs but that's enough biology for today tired monkeys need their rest did you know the word biology means the study of life and living things if you are a biologist you might work with plants animals or the human body some day you will study biology in school George might have been sick but he was still curious where did the germ come from and more important how could he get rid of it he was still wondering when he dozed off soon george was dreaming in his dream he was very small like a germ he and his pal and Noki were going to take a trip inside George's sleeping body to fight off the bad germs. George and Noki zoomed into sleeping George's mouth and landed right on his tongue. It was soft and squishy and there was music playing. They had not expected that what it could be. it seemed to be coming from his nose when george and noki got to the nose they saw a funny looking blob strumming a guitar and singing i will make you sniff and i will make you sneeze you won't be smelling that smelly cheese we will be making you sweat and making you squirm because that's how germs are being germs George could hardly believe his eyes I'm Toots the singing germ he introduced himself and these are my backup singers the germites seeing Toots in his nose made George upset He wanted that germs out of him but Toots did not want to go 
in fact he took the germites and headed to george's lungs laughing and singing all the way george and jinoki chased the germs to the lungs george noticed that when the lungs got smaller air went out and when the lungs got bigger a rush of air came in he was watching himself breathe george's lungs gave him an idea he remembered something he saw in the germ book coughing and sneezing are the lungs way of doing their job and trying to force out bad germs all george had to do was sneeze toots right out of his body george and nuki chased toots and germites all the way to george's nose then with one big sneeze thanks to some well positioned tickling out went toots and germites out into the air looking for a new place to live a few days later george was feeling much better he had taken lots of naps drunk lots of water and juice and sneezed out those germs he could even smell again but it was clear where toots and germites had found a new home george's friend the man with the yellow hat was sick the man had taken such good care of george when he was sick now george wanted to help his friend get better too so he made some soup did you know eating chicken soup is a good for a cold why some doctors say the hot soup helps clear your stuffy nose and the broth provides necessary fluid when you are sick other doctors think that some of the ingredients in chicken soup help with the inflammation that causes your nose to get all stuffy in the first place whatever the case soup is tasty and eating it when you are sick is a good thing george brought the soup to the man's bed thanks george the man said but when he tried the soup he could not taste anything george wanted to taste it but his friend stopped him george don't use that spoon it might be covered with my cold germs you don't want to get sick again do you the man asked george definitely did not want to get sick again that made george curious how else did germs get from one person to another he looked at his germ book george knew that the germs were in him just a few days ago but his friend had not used george's spoon or fork or cup do you think the man caught george's germs when he sneezed or coughed did you know if you don't have a tissue handy you should cough or sneeze into your elbow if you cough or sneeze into your hand the germs will be on your hand then when you touch a door knob a sink a pen utensil or even someone else's hand you will spread your germs and even worse if you don't cover up at all your germs can go really far some scientists say that a single sneeze can travel 100 miles 160 km per hour and spread over 100000 germs looking at the book made george sleepy he drifted into another dream now he and noki were inside the man with yellow hat body there was that music again coming from math stomach they needed to find toots so they could kick him out again 
Well, I have been lots of places floating free as a wheeze. Riding on your silverware or flying on sleeves. I played in many people all across this great big land, especially in the folks who don't like to wash their hands. Because soap makes me wiggle and soap makes me sneeze. One sign of soap and these toots is out of here. If George heard Toots correctly, getting his friend to wash his hands would be a good way to help him get rid of germs and feel better. But Toots and Germites remembered George and knew they needed to get away from him. We are off to play in another body, Toots said. They were going to infect someone else. Get ready to hop on that hand when he wipes his nose, yelled Toots to his germites. George did not want the germs inside his friend, but he did not want anyone else to be sick either. He had to stop them. Did you know even though George saw a picture of a germ in a book, germs are invisible to humans. They are so small that you can see them only by looking through a microscope. Germs can hide on just about anything a person touches. So it is important to use healthy habits like using tissues, washing your hands and staying home from school when you are sick. When the bell rang and the man got up to answer the door, Toots and Germites were ready for a new body. Professor Weissman's she had also made soup for her sick friend. George and Genotki zoomed out after the germs and landed with a thud on Professor Weissman's hand. The germs were startled. Oh, it feels like something is crawling on my hands. Professor Weissman said, I should probably wash them inside. Did you know everyone, kids and adults should wash their hands with soap before they eat, after they use the bathroom and when they are through playing with toys, using public transportation or visiting public places. We use our hands to touch all kind of things. That is why it is important to keep them out of your mouth and wash them often. Professor Weissman went to the bathroom and washed Toots and the Germites right down the drain. Not only had George chased those germs out of his friend, he and some soap had stopped them from getting Professor Weissman sick too. When George woke up from his dream, he felt great, but he went straight to the bathroom to wash his hands and feet just in case. After two icky adventures with Toots, this healthy little monkey wanted to stay that way. Here is some experiment you can try at home about breads. Also, this book has a chicken soup recipe. You can try cooking it too. Also, you can read about healthy habits and words to know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Storytime with Sonia Panda to listen to more stories. Bye for now. See you again soon. Take care.